OK, so in this problem, what we have is we have a circle with equation x minus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 10. And what we want to do is find the values of k for which y equals 3x plus k is a tangent to the circle. So if we want to determine where this is intersecting the circle, then we're going to have to use simultaneous equations. So we're going to substitute y equals 3x plus k into this. So we're going to have the x minus 1 squared plus, and then we've got y being replaced with this 3x plus k. So 3x plus k minus 2 squared equals 10. We're now going to have to expand both of these brackets. So we've got x squared minus 2x plus 1 from that bracket, plus... Now, expanding this, we've got to multiply because we've got three terms in the bracket. We're going to have to multiply everything by everything. So we're going to have the 3x times 3x, so 9x squared. So 3x times k, so 3kx. And then 3x times minus 2, so minus 6x. Then we're going to have the k multiplied with each of the terms. So we've got another 3kx. We've got the k squared. And we've got uh, k times minus 2, so minus 2k. Then we've got the minus 2 times each of these three terms. So we've got minus 6x, minus 2k, plus 4, and then we've got the equals 10 on the end. So we've got a lot of terms here. So we need to simplify this down. Let's look for x squareds first. So we've got an x squared and a 9x squared there, so 10x squared. Then let's look for x's. So we've got minus 2x and 3kx and minus 6x and 3kx and another minus 6x there. So if we just look at the x's by themselves, we've got minus 2x, minus 8x, minus 14x. And then the kx's, so that gets rid of those three. The kx's, we've got 3kx, 6kx, so another 6kx there, dealt with those. And then anything that we've got left over, we've got this k squared, we've got minus 4k, we've also got that 1 there, so 5, take 10 for both sides, so minus 5 equals 0. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this into a nice looking order. So we've got 10x squared, and then I'm going to group those together. So I'm going to have plus 6k minus 14x plus the k squared minus 4k minus 5 equals 0. OK? Now, this is the quadratic that we've got down to that we now need to look at trying to solve. But what we want is for this line to be a tangent to the circle. And so the discriminant of this quadratic, we need to be equal to 0. So b squared minus 4ac equals 0. So the b is 6k minus 14. So we've got 6k minus 14 squared. Take away 4 lots of 10 times c, so k squared minus 4k minus 5, and we need that to be equal to 0. So let's expand this out. We've got 6k squared, so 36k squared. We've got 6 times 14, so that's 84, so minus 84. We've got it twice, so minus 168k plus 14 squared, so 196, um, 28, 56, 196, yeah, just uh, trying to think back. Then 4 times 10 times k squared, so minus 40k squared. We've got minus 40 times minus 4, so plus 160 k and minus 40 times minus 5 so plus 200 equals 0 
Let's see what this simplifies to. We've got 36k squared take away 40k squared, so minus 4k squared. Minus 168k plus 160k is minus 8k. 196 plus 200 gets me to 396. Okay. Now I'm going to divide everything by minus 4. So we're going to get k squared plus 2k, 396 divided by minus 4. It's going to be negative. Um, it would be 100, so it's no, um, 99, isn't it? So minus 99 equals 0. Right. So then, can we factorise this? Well, yes, we can. So 99, two numbers are multiplied together, multiply together to make minus 99, but add together to make 2 um, is minus 9 and 11. So k minus 9 and k plus 11 equals 0. And so k must be equal to 9 or k is equal to minus 11. Okay. So they are the two answers that we're looking for. So in other words, that means that y equals 3x plus 9 and y is equal to 3x minus 11 are tangent to that circle. Okay, And it would be probably a good idea to go on to some um, uh, a graphing software like Desmos or Autograph, type in the equation of this circle, type in the equation of these two lines to check that they are indeed tangents.